soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Amidst growing economic, strategic and a global might, India has now made a mark on the moon. And that too, quite literally. India's Chandrayaan-3 was the first ever to land on the moon's South Pole. This now makes India join an elite club of just four countries that have landed on the moon's surface. A historic moment for the entire nation. This also says that India's space journey is just about to start and move on to do greater things. India's father of space science, Vikram Sarabhai, once said, There are some who question the relevance of space activities in a developing nation. But we are convinced that if we are to play a meaningful role nationally and in the community of nations, we must be second to none in the application of advanced technologies to the real problems of man and society. These words of Sarabhai resonate with the millions of Indians who are praying for the successful landing of India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3. And uh, we are nearly at zero velocity, vertical and horizontal. We, are, we were hovering and now we are approaching the moon's surface. धीरे धीरे लैंडर की वेग पान को कम किया जा रहा है और हम अब लगभग 50 मीटर से भी कम आ चुके हैं। We can see the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, who is here to encourage us, and he is critically looking at the visuals. We have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. This feather in India's cap is as big as it gets. The 23rd of August 2023, the world had waited for this moment with bated breath. 1.4 billion prayers rested on this. The challenge was keeping touchdown speeds within safe limits and heartbeats ran high. The moments can hardly be expressed only felt. Zero, zero, zero. Come on. Woo. India becomes the first country to land on the moon's south pole and only the fourth ever to reach the surface of our closest cosmic neighbor and natural satellite, that speck in the sky that has intrigued generations. The celebrations and congratulatory messages from around India and the world are a testament और सोमनाथ नाम चंद्र से जुड़ा हुआ है और इसलिए आज आपके परिवार जन भी आपके परिवार जन भी बहुत आनंदित होंगे मेरी तरफ से आपको आपकी पूरी टीम को 
बहुत बहुत बधाई टू इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क ऑफ साइंटिस्ट ऑफ ह्यूज लेसन लर्न ऑफ मैसेव चैलेंजेस ओवरकम एंड इट प्रोपेल्स इंडिया इन टू द फ्यूचर लाइक सेम बिफोर इंडिया सक्सेसफुल मून मिशन इज नॉट जस्ट इंडिया अलोन दिस सक्सेस बिलोंग्स टू ऑल ऑफ ह्यूमेनिटी The Chandrayaan-3 mission was launched on the 14th of July. The landing marks India's emergence as a global space power as the government looks to spur investment in private space launches and related satellite-based businesses. Interestingly, the mission comes at a price tag of 74.6 million dollars. That's way below that of other countries. Looking forward, it's now over to the rover Pragyan, the research module that Vikram lander carried to the moon surface, and that process has begun. Over the coming 15 days or so, that's one lunar day, Pragyan will collect and send back images from the moon's south pole that will provide rare insights, and therein lie big gains for India's space program ahead. As Isro said in its victory message, India, I reached my destination. magic takes off